you tattooed your cast members. Is this right? Yes. Because you're, you're kind of, you're trained. Yes. You're <laughs> oh, no, so these are the tattoos you do? Yeah, we call them Tomojis. OK. <laughs> and did you do them all the cast? No, weirdly enough, no one else wanted them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so just the two of us got the toe emojis, but everyone else got squad written on them and other people just would come by the trailer and get anything and, yeah, so did all sorts of things. And you, so you can still tattoo people? Yeah, I reckon I've done, yeah, probably, like, getting close to 100 now. Because little ones, little ones, and honestly, I'm probably getting worse as I go along. Because you've already tattooed yourself, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> how, how did that go for you? Not great. <laughs> What did you do? Uh, it was, uh, you know, it, w it was supposed to be a, you know, like the cla like a, a monster hand dropping a bloody heart, but it, it, it looks more like a, like a chicken, <laughs> you know, <laughs> making love with a cactus or something. I don't know, I don't know what happened. <laughs> Friend had one at his house. I like to doodle. It's a bad combination. <laughs> Is this your first corset roll? What's a corset roll? <laughs> it's the thing where you wear a corset. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, that was my first corset roll. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how do you feel about the corset? No one likes corsets, do they? Oh, man. <laughs> Has anyone ever tried to corset on? Have you worked? Oh, yeah. <laughs> sure. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. It's, True. um, it, no, it's, he's, uh, he's done a lot of corset work. Yeah, yeah, I have actually. He's done extensive corset training <laughs> on many corset roles. Yeah, yeah, quite a few. Yeah. First guy ever who made a corset, I did a production of Twelfth Night with Mark Rylance, and I was playing Viola, and Mark was playing Olivia, and the guy who made the corsets was called Luca, and he was amazing, and he, he made these corsets, it was as if they was from the 16th century, whalebone, and he tightened me into it, and, and he had worn corsets all his life, and basically his body went into this extraordinary kind of thing. When you, they, like, train. Yeah. But and what happened when he took it off? Well, this, this is... Well, this is... My liver. He went all floppy. <laughs> but there was... <laughs> like, I think a gentleman... I don't know the answer to that question. Uh, but, <laughs> but there was a horrible moment when he, when, when he was... I was like, oh, I'm not going to be able to eat much when I, when I wear my kills it. And he went, I never eat. <laughs> <laughs> so I have had some sympathy oh, for the actresses God, I've worked with. You do. Long no, you get... It was... It was um, Can you sit? I, Can you sit? I was supposed to ask, did you, did you do the leaning no, board? You lean. I didn't oh, have a leaning Lord. board, but I would, I would just, like, a couch like this. I would because you, you just cannot like sit down. I mean, you it's... really can't. And, it's, and honestly, like... Women existed in that for yeah. such a long time, which yeah. does give you a lot of, of sympathy for that time period, what you were going through. But for the first month, I couldn't breathe, and so I would just smell. And Sandy Powell is the costume designer. She's fantastic. The costumes are beautiful. It's just this one part. It's historically accurate, but I couldn't <laughs> breathe. <laughs> so I would, and I would smell menthol, and oh it sort God. of made me think that I was in like a wide open space. <laughs> So I'd just smell a little bit of menthol and be in a wide open space for 30 seconds and then be back to not breathing. But then after about a month, um, my organs shifted. Oh my God. Because they have to, like what you're saying, his whole body shape changed. Oh and it was only temporary, but um, it was gross. It was gross. Do you feel they've gone back? They've gone back. Okay. <laughs> They've gone back for sure. Oh, no, that's that's right. Right. Yes, you said that yes. like we knew. What happens when you're? Do you hear it? So basically, like, is it like a? <laughs> oh, it's it's like, like, like you're a creaking oh. sound. Then there's a pop. And then <laughs> wakes serious? you in the night with a screech. <laughs> no, it was like it went like a part the bottom half of my stomach, whatever's. I'm not a doctor. Whatever's in there <laughs> went down that way, oh, and, then, and then I oh. guess just my ribs stayed up. Wow. So, what? Anyway, don't do it. <laughs> if, you, yeah. if you don't have to, don't do it. But I was grateful. grateful. <laughs> I just want, like, a lung. I love doing like, this. My film. lung's in my arm. <laughs> <laughs> my lung's in my arm. <laughs> she stays here. And you learn to breathe in a new way. <laughs> You're probably familiar then, Mark, since you are a campaigner <laughs> for the hairy chest. You're probably familiar with the, there's a site called Hairy Chest I Want to Cry On. Have you heard of this? <laughs> There really is. There really is. Your producing team made me aware of that, yes. Yeah. So, uh, you you are front and centre on this. There you are. I have to say, you look really like Whoa. Lenny Kravitz. Whoa! Yeah. That's not me. Is that really not you? That's Lenny Kravitz. Is it really Lenny? <laughs> no. No, that's me. That is you. <laughs> Don't mess with my head. <laughs> the, the person who ever posted this put a little comment on the side, Mark Ruffalo, more like Mark Buffalo. <laughs>
Look at that hairy hive. <laughs> Speaking of buffalo, I want to drive his body to the verge of extinction. <laughs> What was that person's name? <laughs> well, it was an unfortunate uh, paparazzi shot. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is, you have a sixth sense of when you're getting captured. Yeah, yeah I, this was a couple years ago, but I do remember being outside. I lived in this little house in Venice, and there was no... The, outdoor, the front door just opened right to the street, and I was putting my dog, I think, in the back of the truck or something or something, <laughs> and I was sort of bent down like this, and I, I, you could hear the click. You know, you just hear it. You get used to that clicking yeah, sound. Yeah. I thought... Oh, yeah, these pants are really, like, they're... Oh, I think my ass is hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then, like, you know, you go online, you're like, yep, there, they got There's it. There's my ass. <laughs> no, in fairness, they did. We've got it there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah there it is. <laughs> <laughs> it was good, though. That was the dog. That was my dog pick. Very good. And, Carrie, does the sofa smell familiar to you? <laughs> no, it's just your husband was sitting on it last week. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Mr. Musgrave. I know. No, I, no I, you've, you've cleaned up pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> did you say Mr. Musgrave? I did say Mr. Musgrave. I, I thought you were referring to as Musk or something. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I like you didn't even name. correct me. Kind of like, oh, call him what you like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mr. Mumford. Mr. Mumford. Uh, and, of course, uh, you and your husband, you were at the royal wedding. There you are, walking in. Yeah. Uh, y you weren't there, no. No. I didn't even know they got married. <laughs> <laughs> but no, here's the thing, because it, it, I'm sure it's a lovely day. Mm. It's a lovely day. But how early do you have to get there? Well, it varies, I think. I think we felt we should get there quite early. Um, we also were watching television and Oprah showed up, which, when you realise that you're later than Oprah, um, <laughs> kind of hurries you along a little bit. So we, um, we hustled. So how long were you sitting there before the thing? I don't know. I mean, I wasn't probably... I wasn't counting, I was... No, seriously, on. how many hours were you sat there? <laughs> I do. <laughs> <laughs> and so we get in, and it's a lovely day. You've dressed up, it's all very nice. You yeah. get in. Once you're in, are you in? Are you on lockdown then? Yeah, you, well, yeah, kind of. The main problem was that I didn't think that there would be a toilet, so I didn't drink anything, so I got quite dehydrated. Oh, is um, there a toilet? There is a toilet, yes, there's oh, a toilet. Oh, how handy! Yes. Yeah, but I didn't know that because <laughs> there were all these rumours about what there would and wouldn't be, and I didn't know, so I just played it very safe. Oh! Those are things that normal people don't have to... I mean, not normal people, excuse me, but, like, you know, at a normal, at a normal wedding, you don't think... Will there be a bathroom? And then even weirder, you think, you don't think, and what happens if Oprah comes in after me? <laughs> <laughs> you know? But then at a normal wedding, there aren't, like, SWAT teams in the sewers and things beneath where you're, you know, so you kind of have to make provision for all the craziness that's did going you talk on. To, like, did you know people there? Did you... <laughs> did you speak to did anyone you... else who was, like, a royal? <laughs> no, I didn't. I just sort of... Wow. Did this for the whole experience, you know? When you were walking past, did you look into drains to see if you could see eyes what? looking <laughs> up at you? <laughs> I was just... I was super focused on just not falling over. Leonardo DiCaprio, you were one of the first people to work with him. How old was he in this American boy? God, this boy's life, rather? <clears throat> Maybe, uh... Was he about 14 or 13 or 14? Young. Like, he was young. Like young. Yeah. Uh, so it must be amazing to see, you know, to watch his career. Yes, yeah. yeah. The, the, Leo was also... He had a reading of, of the movie, uh, and Leo wasn't reading the lead. It was another kid. And, and at the end of it, I said, uh, this kid is interesting, you know. Uh, you should, ch you know, pay more attention to him. And I don't know whether that... My saying that had anything to do with it, but... You know it did. <laughs> 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 Anointed by Robert De Niro. Other kids, who knows where they are? <laughs> uh, you grew a little human, and little human popped out. We've yes. got a picture of Hazel. Oh. Oh. That, that, as a mother, that must be so nice to have 600 people go... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, because I sweetheart. do that, but yeah. No, she's beautiful. She's she is really cute. Today. It was amazing. She's so cute. Was it the nurse that was very complimentary? Yeah, she, she was out? funny. We were in the recovery room afterwards, and we had this amazing nurse who came in, and she looked at Hazel and she goes, "Damn, your baby is so cute." <laughs> and I went, "I went, oh really?" She went, "She is gorgeous." And I went, hey, "Mabel, I think you say that to all the mothers." And she went, "No, I don't." <laughs> <laughs> Say, when I know a baby ugly, I say, you had a baby! <laughs> 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 <And> that's it! <laughs>
double congratulations, of course, this film is the first production from Team Downey. Yeah. I, I, yep, and Mrs. Great would be team, here. Great team. Great She's team. fantastic. Yeah. Well, she co-produced the Sherlock Holmes movie, Sherlock though, didn't she? Yeah, yeah she yeah. sends yeah. her regards. And and having another her. baby. Yeah, another one. So another Team Downey yeah. production. Yes. yes. And when is this? <laughs> that one I, I had much less to do with than the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I was only involved for about seven minutes. Oh. Okay. I think you had some involvement, oh, though. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Not bad, huh? <laughs> <laughs> She'll bring, she'll bring it in on time and under budget. <laughs> um, could, could you, just as a favor, because I know that, you know, you, film stars like to give unusual names, could you call him or her Uppy? <laughs> Uppy Downey? It'd be so silly. <laughs> Isn't that nice? So, what are the shortcuts to get into, say, Charles? What are the shortcuts? Right. right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. Get okay. ready. Poke with a stick. In. <laughs> Spitting image. Um, off we go. Okay. <laughs> so, there's, so there's a couple of things that I sort of. I mean, I didn't spend too long, kind of dwelling on the little Charles things. But there was one thing I noticed that in every time he got out of a car, he'd do this thing. Still does it now. I saw something recently. Where he's, anyway, he gets out of the car and he goes <laughs> cufflink, cufflink. So he goes checks the cufflink, checks the cufflink, checks his pocket square, and then waves. So every time. He goes to a public event or anything. It's cufflink, cufflink, pocket square. I wonder wave. if he's ever not had his pocket square and then it's completely <laughs> yeah. flawed him. He yeah. doesn't know how to, to get back in the back car. Back in the car, back in the car. Sounds like a dull yeah. serve. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Right. Less, <laughs> slightly less <laughs> <thing>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Without the grunt when he waves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and he does speak in a very kind of... Because uh, it must have been hard not to just do an impression, because people do yeah. do impressions of him. Mm. I think, I think so much about The Crown is sort of doing a bit of that sort of work. I don't know what you think, Emma. But I think it's kind of finding little things that make people feel safe in the knowledge that you're not just doing some something random performance. Different. But you feel like it is, you recognise something of Charles. So with Charles, for instance, uh, he does a thing, <laughs> he does a thing with his voice where he sort of, like, speaks like this. So everything's, like, through teeth. Yes. And, yes. You know, yeah, and actually, Emma's yes. amazing at it. <laughs> <laughs> we have competitions who can do better dumb. Charles yeah. uh, and Diana. And I'm rubbish at Diana, but she's very good at Charles. What, what, Diana. what are the shortcuts for Diana? Um, Diana's, for her voice, um, it's mainly that everything goes... sort of goes down at the end. So, her pattern of speech, so it's sort of like... Well, my word to get into her was always like... Um, was always, all right. All right. Yeah. That's just <laughs> what I'd say before I'd say, all right. <laughs> But then everything she says sort of um, always goes down at the end, so <laughs> it's almost like even if she had the best time ever, <laughs> it would always sound a little bit sad. <laughs> <laughs> that is very good. Yeah, isn't it? Pedro Pascal, we've got to quickly mention uh, the show everyone's obsessed by, The Last of Us, Pedro, and Britain's own uh, Bella Ramsey there. So yeah. Great. Yeah. yeah. I, I had no idea she was British. Really? No. Well, you saw Game of Thrones, didn't you? No. Oh, you didn't? Oh. No. What? It's got dragons in it. Why would I watch that? Game of Thrones. I mean, I've, I've seen all your episodes. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but the, I don't think I've ever read such good reviews for a television yes. show. I mean, they're rapturous. Were you familiar with the game? I didn't know about the game before I got the job. And then I got the job and I found out very quickly about the game. It's a very famous video game. Yeah, I've, I've, I've uh, heard. That, um, uh... <laughs> <laughs> you haven't played The Last of Us? <laughs> no. <laughs> I needed, it needed to be explained to me. <laughs> um, but uh, when, I, when, I, when I got the job, I, I, uh, I was very familiar with HBO. I was very familiar with Craig Mazin, who... Mm who created uh, Chernobyl. Yeah. And, uh, but I called my sister, who's got two teenage boys. Uh, uh, and I was on speakers when she answered. She was uh, dropping them off at school. And she's like, what's going on? And I said, well, there's this job offer and, uh, 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 or opportunity um, that uh, it's based actually on a video game. And uh, Bruno and Pedro are my nephew's names. And they're like, what is it? And I was like, it's called the last, and they're, the last of us! <laughs> <laughs> you better get that job! <laughs> well, you talk about getting that job. Uh, your experience of getting that job, quite hazy, I think. Yeah. 
<laughs> I was in London. I yes. was in London. Yeah. <laughs> this is horrible. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So it all happened very, very quickly. It was a very strange thing where it was read the scripts, talk to Craig, uh, 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 and then you know it was getting later and later at night. And uh, we're shooting in London at the time, and uh, they needed me to stay up late to meet the creator of the video game and the executive producer, Carolyn Strauss, who was on Game of Thrones, and um, to continue kind of like, you know, convincing, trying to convince them to hire me for the job. And um, by the time it was all said and done, it was late, and uh, I, uh, uh, I took a, a, an Ambien, a, a sleeping, Ooh, a sleeping yes. tablet. That's, that's strong. To go to bed, yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> I knew that I needed to, because I was, at that point, I was kind of hyped up. Yeah. yeah. You gotta work the next day, you gotta yeah. yeah, and I was excited about yeah. Yeah. The, the prospect. So they called me to tell me that I had gotten the job, but I had already taken the tablet. <laughs> I really didn't think, I thought that I would at least have to wait until the next day, yeah. you know? And, so um, okay. yeah, and I remember actually, yeah, that's cool. yeah, yeah, I was like, oh my God. And then like a couple of minutes on the call went by apparently, and I was like, so what's up? Did you, did I get the job? And they were like, what, what are you talking about? We called you, we told you you got the job. And I was like, oh, I did? And they're like, what's it? And I was like, oh, I took a tablet. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that completely. Woke up in the morning. Yeah. It was all like, oh my God, did I get the job? <laughs> you know? I'm gonna have to wait all day there in LA. I'm in London. So many, I'm gonna be waiting by the phone and everything. And, and, and I, had, I, I had gotten the job. I'm surprised you kept the job. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's think again. Uh, yeah.